Once, St. Lucifer's was considered the top psychiatric hospital in the world, the leader in electroshock therapy and frontal lobotomies. St. Lucifer's had 1,200 patients and a staff of 700. But things were far from normal. Body counts were unusually high, and many patients disappeared into the five miles of underground tunnels, never seen again. Electroshock was so overprescribed, St. Lucifer's was turning out hundreds of catatonic freaks a year. Dr. Chaos once said, When the mouth of it goes in, and the whine of electricity starts, it's like a symphony. And the screams are just a bonus. Long after the asylum was supposedly shuttered and abandoned, its sister location, Hammerlock Penitentiary, continued with its questionable operations. Hammerlock was said to contain only the most vile and menacing prisoners in the system, with guards raging on the take, accompanied by the most corrupt warden the state could conjure. Not a single convict entered the compound with expectations for release, and they were never offered parole. It was commonplace for prisoners to leave in body bags, though their remains were never seen outside the prison. Some believe that being so close to the neighboring asylum is why it's the most haunted facility in the U.S. Department of Corrections. Now is the time. Test yourself! Enter St. Lucifer's in Hammerlock. Discover for yourself the meaning of fear. <laughs>